Hey everyone! Welcome to today's Shopify tutorial. In this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of setting up your one product store on Shopify. I'll walk you through the customizations, how to add your product, building your own website, and much more. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, the first step is to sign up on Shopify, and if you want to create an account while watching this tutorial, head on over to the description down below to find a link that will bring you to Shopify's website where you can sign up. Now, with this exclusive link, you can get a longer free trial and an exclusive deal on Shopify for the first month. It's honestly the best deal that you can get on the internet right now, and there is no other deal like it. So proceed with the prompts that you are going to get and answer them accurately. Once you have answered your prompt, you can proceed with your Shopify store. Now, the first step that I like to do to set up my one product store is to actually add the plan or the payment method for your plan on Shopify. To do this, just click on select plan on the top right, and once you click on select plan, select the basic plan over here. Once you select your basic plan, put in your payment information and subscribe. Then, after you have input your payment information, proceed with your business address and postal codes. Confirm your business address, and now we can start creating our one product store on Shopify. Now, we're going to add our product to our Shopify store. If you're selling your own product, meaning you are not dropshipping, you can simply go into product on the left panel. Then click on add product and fill out all of the details. This includes your title. So for the title of my product, I have a button down striped shirt. Then after that, you're going to put in a description. And if you're having a bit of an issue with coming up with a creative description for your product, simply click on the generate text icon or the sparkly icon over here. Once you do that, you can add basic features about your product. Let's say it's 100% cotton. Let's say it's hand woven. And let's say it is made for comfort like this. Add any basic features or keywords and then click on generate. You can even choose a particular tone that you want to keep for your product. And then Shopify will generate a description for your product. So it's really that easy to build descriptions on Shopify. Then move towards the media section. Over here, click on upload new and you are going to upload images of your product. So we are just going to so from here, I'm just going to insert the images of our product. You can select multiple images together like this and then click on open. Now our, up now our media files are being uploaded. Now, another thing to note is that if you upload your files in any order, you can always change it later on. Simply hold the image from the top right dots and then move it towards the place you want to position it. So I want this to be my major image or the first image, so I have moved it to the front. If I want this to be the major image, I can just hold it from the dots and then move it towards the front. Now below that, you're going to enter the price of your product. And you can also choose to charge tax as well as add your cost per item, profits and margin. Now, below that, you have your inventory options. Here, you can add the amount of products you have in stock, and your search engine listing information can further be customized from the bottom. So I'm going to add some stock over here, and then below that, we are going to add shipping info. Because this is a physical product, we're going to insert a weight. Let's say it's 0.03. And then after that, you can also add things such as color variations or size variations you're providing. So for us, this is going to be small, medium, and then large. Then click on done and your variants will now be inserted. Make sure that whenever you are inserting variants, you add the variant quantities accordingly. So I have added a thousand of each individual size. Now, below that, you have your search engine listing customization. Click on edit over here to customize how your listing or how your product is going to appear on Google or other search engines. 
Then scroll back towards the top. On the top right, you have your status bar for your product. Over here, make sure it is selected to active and then click on save. And just like that, our product has now been created in our one product Shopify store. Now, after we have created our product, it's time to choose and customize our theme for our website. To do this, we're going to click on online store on the left. Now, I am going to be customizing our online store and I'll show you guys a couple of different themes that you can pick up from. Click on online store on the left and then click on themes. Then scroll down and click on visit theme store. This will open up the Shopify theme store in a new tab. Now with the Shopify theme store, you will have access to free and paid themes. You can explore different ideas and take a look at what theme suits your style the best. Now for this particular video, I am going to be using one of the free themes provided by Shopify and I can filter them out from the top left like so. You can also filter them by industry, features, and catalog sizes. Now I really like the sense theme, so I'm going to go back into my Shopify dashboard and in the, in the popular free themes, the sense theme is already listed, so I will click on add over here. Now, once I click on add, this will be inserted into my theme library. However, the theme library theme is not going to be your current active theme on Shopify. So how can you make this your current active theme? Well, we're going to wait for the theme library insertion to be completed. And then you have to publish your store to make it the currently active theme on Shopify. So click on publish and then click on publish once more. And just like that, our new theme has been applied. Now click on customize on the right to begin customization of your store. Now this is the Shopify theme editor and up here you'll find some general settings about your theme. First, we are going to adjust the logo of our particular theme. To do this, you're going to click on the theme settings on the left panel, which are under this gear icon. Then click on logo and then click on select image. You can select any image or even add new images for your Shopify store logo. Now, if you don't want to upload an image for your logo, you can go back and also use text. To do that, you can just simply go into typography and change the fonts and styles. Then click on the center banner and in your center banner, you're going to have this section which is being called my store. This is going to usually be from the store name that you have in your theme settings in your Shopify dashboard, which we will customize later. Now, after you have chosen a logo for your store, let's say I want to use a product image as a logo. So for that, I can even explore some free images. Let's say I have women's fashion images. And let's say this is our store logo like this. I can click on select over here. Now with any logo that you are using, the width or the size of the logo can be adjusted accordingly. Simply take this banner over here and increase or decrease this width of your desktop logo. You can always choose a favicon image that will appear on tabs as a top left banner. Now after that, you can go back into your theme settings and then further customize the colors and the color schemes. To do this, you can just simply click on a color scheme, let's say it's this one, and then I can customize the green color or the yellow color for a blue tone like this. I'll also customize the gradient colors in this, so let's say I will take the green color and then customize that again towards the blue color, like so. Now below that I also have the button color where I'm going to replace it with blue. And just like that, we have customized the general appearance of this particular theme by customizing the color scheme. And to change the color scheme of a section, simply click on a section. Once you click on the section, on the left, you can scroll down and see which color scheme has been applied. Click on change and change it to an alternating color scheme. And if you want, you can even edit the colors present within a color scheme and set up your own color schemes as you go. Now, once you have customized colors, it's time to customize fonts. 
Go back into your theme settings and go into typography. Click on change over here to change a particular font. You will see a few different fonts that are available and you can pick out the one that suits you the best. Now that we have customized the general appearance, it's time to start customization of our actual store template. So from here, we're going to go towards our first section and in our first section, we are going to be setting up a block button and customizing the image over here. To do that, you will see the template on the left. In your template, click on the button over here. Now, instead of a shop now label, I want it to be a buy now label. Replace the text on the top left and then you will see the button link. You're going to customize this and change it to only directly link to the only product you have. Then. Go back and once you do that, you're going to proceed with the next section, which is your image. So click on the image on the front banner and click on select image. Insert your product image over here and then click on the heading text. Once you click on your heading text, it will automatically appear on the left. Customize this heading text to reflect product info, something along the lines of like this. Now I can also customize the heading size by choosing from small, medium, or large. Now we're going to go back and further proceed with our home page. So once we have created our home page, I will remove the featured product section because it's not relevant towards our particular product. Now we're going to be creating a image with text section. To do this, we are going to click on add section on the left. Then we're going to select image with text. Now, once we do that, we can also flip the direction of the text and image. So to do this, you can see desktop image placement on the left. Click on image second to flip the positioning of the text and image. Then click on the image and then click on select image. Choose another product image and then insert a benefit or another use of your product like so once you've done that you can also further customize the description by clicking on the description and once you have clicked on your description you can provide it with more text or if you don't need it you can also remove extra content that might not be necessary for you now once we go back we can also proceed with the button label where i am going to customize it to buy now and with your buy now button, you also want to make sure the button link is directly towards the singular product that you have. Now, from this point on, you can go on ahead and repeat the process and create more image with text sections, as many as you might need. The goal is to communicate the main benefits of your product in a way that is engaging and visually appealing to look at. Now, it's time to add our product listing to our homepage. To do this, simply go back into your homepage menu on the left. Now, once we've done that, we are going to go on ahead and click on add section. Once we click on add section, we can see there are a couple of different blocks to choose from. So we are going to click on featured product over here. Once you click on featured product, click on select product from the top left. Once you click on select product from the top left, choose your button down striped t-shirt or whatever your product name is. Click on select over here. And from here, you can even customize the way this appears. So I can also change the color scheme, the media, the desktop positioning of the media. So to do this, you can click on change on the color scheme and change the color scheme as you want it to be. So let's say I want this to be in a darker color scheme like this. You can also type in a section to explain how your product works. You can also add things such as a column to add more information about your product. So you can also click on back into your home page, click on add section and add a multi row or multi column. In a multi column, you can add more information or benefits about your product in each individualized column. Now let's move on over to the product page. So to do this, click on the top where it says home page and then click on products. 
then select default product from here. As you may notice, it has automatically been assigned to your specific product. Because you only have one product listing, you can follow the same process to complete your product page. So in our product page, I want to include a few image or the text sections. And to do this, just click on add section under the template. So click on add section over here and then click on image with text. Then select image and select the image of your product. Then click on the text on the right panel and add more information about your product. Let's say I want to add some benefits. And if you're uncertain about what type of body text you want to add, you can always click on the sparkly icon and then just add some information. Then also choose a tone. For this, let's say I want to use a playful tone and then click on generate. This will automatically generate some text for you and you can have that text inserted. And then you can also choose to remove the button because you're already on the product page. So to remove the button, go back into the preview and then click on the button and then click on the delete box over here. Now, once we've done that, we can do the same section uh, a few times over to add more info about your product so you can just click on add section and add more blocks as you go all right now our product page is basically ready and if you want to take things to the next level i recommend installing some shopify apps to help increase trust and create strong offers to boost your conversion rates you can try something along the lines of adding a review page towards your product page incorporating things such as your social media feeds and creating a product bundle offer these strategies are proven to be effective in attracting potential customers and convincing them to actually make a purchase. I will provide some app recommendations for you below that can help you in achieving this. Now that this is looking good, we still need to actually change this navigation menu. So we're going to click on save on the top right and then go back into our Shopify dashboard. Here we are going to click on online store on the left and then click on navigation. Once you click on navigation, you're going to click on main menu. And then in your main menu, you have three basic menu items. I will remove the catalog page by clicking on delete. Then click on add menu item. From here, I'm just going to go into the links and then click on product. And then once I click on product, I will click on the product that we have, which is our button down striped shirt, and then click on add. Then to move this menu item above the contact page item, I will select the dots over here and then move it up. If you want to make any sub pages, you can also hold an item and move it towards the right to create a sub page within your navigation menu. Now I will click on save menu over here. And just like that, our new menu customization has now been completed. Now, there is still one very important thing missing, and that is a domain. You can think of it as a website address, and you can also just think of it as the URL of your online store. By default, it will be set to something random.myshopify.com. So to make this more professional and more business-like, we are going to purchase a domain. To do this, go into settings on the bottom left and then click on domains. Once you click on domains, click on buy a new domain if you don't have one already. But if you do, click on connect existing domain, insert your domain and follow the steps. Now to buy a domain, simply click on buy a domain and then search for the domain that you want. Then you will get the available listings or similar domains that are available. And you can select the domain you want and it will be automatically inserted or available to your Shopify store once you have purchased it. Now, let's move on over towards shipping and delivery. To do this, just go into shipping and delivery still within your store settings. Then over here, you will have general shipping rates. So you can click on these and add shipping rates for domestic as well as international orders. And for your shipping zones, you can also set a zone. To do this, click on create zone and you can add multiple countries in one zone. So let's say for my international zone, I can click on show all. 
and these are all the countries and I can click on edit zone and let's say for international orders I'm only accepting in Australia and Canada and then I can click on done and add a particular shipping rate. We can also use carriers or apps to calculate rates as well as use a flat rate. Once you have created your zones, if you want to offer free shipping, you can simply do that by setting the shipping to zero. Now it's time to add our store policies and it's important to include these policies such as a refund as well as a privacy policy and shipping policy. To do this, we are just going to go into our Shopify settings and we're going to save our shipping first. Once we've done that, we are going to go into the left panel and click on policies over here. Once we click on policies, Shopify has a really simple way that can help you in setting up your store policies. All you have to do is scroll down and click on create from template. This will create all of your policies other than your shipping policy for your particular business. However, make sure to customize these where you have to insert things such as your own return address, your own contact information, the dates, the basic information will be written and provided for you and you just have to customize that accordingly to your store. Now, once you do that, you're going to click on save. However, we can't forget to actually add these to our Shopify store. Now to do this, we're going to exit and then click on online store. Then in our online store, we're going to click on navigation. Click on the footer menu over here and then click on add menu item. Then directly go into the links and click on policies. Then select each individual policy and add it as a separate menu item in your Shopify footer. So we're going to insert all four policies directly into our footer on Shopify like so. Once you've added all of these, click on save and now your store has all the basic policies required. Now, before actually launching your store, there are a couple more things that you need to pay mind to. To do this, click on settings on the bottom left and then click on store details. Over here, you're going to customize your store name, phone number, email address, billing info, store currencies, time zones, as well as units of measurements. So click on the profile and click on this pen icon over here to customize the name of your store as well as phone and email info. So once you've customized your store details, it's time to customize things such as your taxes and duties. To do this, go into taxes and duties on the left and you're going to add all of your tax info over here. Once you have completed your tax info, you can go into brands on the left panel. Here, you can upload your logo, add more brand colors to make your store look more put together. Now, before going live and publishing our store, we actually need to remove the password from our storefront. To do this, we're going to click on online store on the left. And once you click on online store, click on remove password over here. And just like that, our Shopify store is now ready. Now, before you launch, you can also set up a test order to make sure that everything is processing properly. And if you haven't signed up for Shopify just yet, here is a quick reminder that the current best deal for Shopify will be provided in the link down below within the description. It's honestly the best deal on the internet and there is nothing like it. Thanks for watching and I hope this tutorial helped you build your Shopify store. Make sure you go on ahead and leave a like and then I'll see you guys next time. Have a fantastic day ahead.